Yo, greetings family, blessed love. Yeah, yeah. Black Vice here. Um, we're in the UK. So if you don't know, you know, we're in the UK. And today, you know, this has been going on this week, a story that has um, been popping off on social media. They're not really touching it on the TV as such or on the mainstream papers, but this elderly brother, yeah. So um, Albert Thompson. He come here from in the 60s when he was eight year old. Yeah, come here, his mum was a nurse. You know, um, but I, I'm gonna put the descriptions in the post so you guys can check it out. Well, you know, it's Albert Thompson, 63. Lived in London, yeah, for 44 years. He has prostate cancer, as you can see. Yeah, and major surgery arrived for his first radiation session to be taken aside and told unless he can prove he's legible and entitled to live in the UK. He would have to pay the full of 56,000 pounds in treatment up front. Albert has paid tax in the country for the decades and arrived from Jamaica as a teenager. He has no money and needs help. So there's basically there's a petition going out to, to, you know, to help him and thing, right? To, to um get, but he work here. He's a mechanic. He work here. His mum was a nurse here. You know, he even um, you know, they rebuke his um because he's a pensioner now. They rebuke his benefit money. He lost his house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And this is just one of many stories that of people who have been in this country for like 30, 40 years from their kids, and then the government is throwing them out. You know what I mean? Theresa May is acting very much like um, Trump in America. And they've been throwing out people, you know, who, are, who have children, they're putting them back to Jamaica and all other parts of the world. Black people, though, they're not doing it to East Europeans or any white people, it's strictly black people, you know. So I'm um, just wanting to get that out there, you know what I mean? You could check that out, Google it, check it out still. I said I'll leave a, um description and everything in the post so you guys can check it out. But I just wanted that to be to be made aware. Because um the racism in the UK is as dreadful and as covert and as tact tactful as what you guys experience in America. You know what I mean? And they're doing everything that they're doing to you guys in America, they're doing it to us here in the UK. There's less of us than you guys, you know, here in America who is in America, you know, the black community in America is bigger. But we are here as a community and, you know, we're facing the same things, you know what I mean? Yeah, we're facing the same things, white supremacy at the end of the day, you know. So rally around, speak with each other, come up with solutions, you know, things like this. You know, people are trying to help him out and, and um, he's not on the street, he was living on the street for a while, he's not on the street now, you know what I mean? Some charities have helped him out and that. But, you know, this could be any one of us. Whether you're born here or not, you can lose your ID and can't find your ID and then people want to turn on you just like that, you know? So, you know, I I, I pray and hope that <clears throat> you guys, like, you know, find it in yourselves to do some research about these things, what's happening internationally, and speak on them more and make them more socialised so people are aware of what's happening because you know the way that they're doing it they're doing it covert is uh, last year they deported at least a hundred and something um jamaicans to jamaica alone and they just get them from the deportation carried into the airport and boom and you know if you go to the the the, the, the detention center if they catch you and they bring you to the detention center you're, you're not seeing your family again and you're not able to take anything neither with you you know and it's, you know what i mean and I said, some of these people uh, who, who this is happening to, they've been here for decades and been working and paid contribution towards the government and that. So really and truly, them things shouldn't happen, but that's where we are at, you know what I mean? In this um, racial hatred, as Yeshua said, in the last days, nation will be against nation. He meant people against people, different races against different races, and that's what we're living, we're seeing it, live and direct. Jacob's trouble, people, Jacob's trouble, trust me. Peace, blessed love. Subscribe and like. And thanks for those who've been subscribing to me on Black 
Junction. Appreciate it. Nothing but love and respect. See? Don't know. Peace.